A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'll show you how to make a navigation bar using just CSS. It's not a drop down menu guys. It's just a navigation bar. Let's get started. I'm going to hit on the create new HTML button. Ok guys please note that I'm in the classic view and uh, right now I'm in the split view. Ok. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll come in the properties here down below and click on the unordered list icon. Then let me add a few items. Let me add four items. Item 1, enter. Item 2, enter. Item 3, enter. Item 4. Okay. No hitting the enter button this time. The enter key this time. Alright. Very good. Guys, uh, to make a navigation bar, what I've done first is I've made an unordered list. A UL list. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything that is between the body tags. Let me expand this area. <coughs> so I've selected everything inside the body tags. Uh, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to say insert layer objects and div tag. My purpose is to wrap it around a div. Okay. Instead of uh, selecting the class div I'm going to select um, the id div and the id that I want to give it is let's say menu bar. Right. I'm going to click on the new CSS button. I'm going to say OK. Apply a few rules here. <coughs> I'm sorry, got a very bad throat. And uh, let's go down to the box category and let's apply a margin of 50 pixels all around. This will displace the menu bar from the top and the left. This is how you actually will be using the uh, menu bar inside a div so that you can displace it wherever you want. Okay. I'm going to say OK. Okay, once again, so the menu bar has actually been displaced from the top and the left. Let me show you a preview. Uh, Dreamweaver prompts me to save the changes. I'm going to save it and call it menu bar once again. I'm going to hit the save button and up comes the preview. Okay, now this quite doesn't look like a menu bar. And uh, we are set out to make a horizontal uh, navigation bar. Okay, let's go back to Dreamweaver and uh, let's make the next move the next change the next guys what I'll do is I'll click anywhere between item 1 and click on this plus button here at the bottom okay uh, automatically the contextual selector will be set to compound and uh, the selector name will be menu bar ul li so it's targeting the li within the ul which is inside the menu bar Div. Okay, so uh, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna say okay. And uh, next, what I wish to do is now this is uh, where the trick comes in. I'm gonna go down to the box category and set the float to be a left and say apply. And notice what has happened here item one, two, three, and four have been floated left. All right, and uh, there's one more trick that we're going to play now. We're going to go down to the list category and set the list style type to none. And I'm going to say OK this time. So guys, if you notice, item number 1, 2, 3 and 4 are now sitting, instead of sitting on top of each other, are sitting adjacent to each other, next to each other. So, so far so good. Let me take a preview in Google Chrome. <coughs> and... Uh, <coughs> I'm really really sorry <laughs> for my throat okay so it's kind of taking shape let me go back to Dreamweaver um, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn all these items 1 2 3 and 4 into links so let me highlight uh, item number 1 go down below here and uh, since we don't have a link ready I'm just gonna put a pound sign here and hit enter okay so that's the first link also have a look here in the code view guys see the changes that are reflected guys if you're new to Dreamweaver or if you really want to learn Dreamweaver very well whenever we, we make changes in the design view please pay a lot of attention to the code view this is the way you learn Dreamweaver unless and until you're really good with HTML and CSS uh, if you, you're starting with Dreamweaver okay and you don't know uh, HTML and CSS pretty uh, very well then you should always pay a lot of attention to the code area 
when changes are being made to the design view okay okay next uh, what I'll do is uh, guys here you can actually see the 50 pixels of margin all around anyways so this time I'm gonna select item number two okay and in the link area I'll just put the pound sign temporarily and hit enter okay now the pound sign will be replaced by a uh, a real link an actual link later on but this is just a temporary process to turn it into a link and uh, likewise I'll do the same with the item number three put a pound sign in the links down below hit enter and uh, the same thing is uh, gonna be done with the last item item number four now all the four items item number one two three and four are links let me show you a preview in chrome alright so guys uh, as you can see all the four items one two three and four are now actually links hyperlinks. links okay but it doesn't look like a menu but hold on it will soon very soon look like a navigation bar will not be long before it actually looks like one okay next what I'll do is I'll click anywhere between uh, item number one and then click on this uh, plus button create a new CSS rule now this CSS rule will target all uh, anchor tags which are within li which are within ul which are within menu bar okay so I'm gonna say okay and uh, next what I'm gonna do is guys I'm going to go to the background uh, category this time choose a background color let's choose a very light mild hash uh, FCC okay also let me choose uh, a color for the font which is uh, a nice uh, hash 900 okay and at the same time I want to choose a width let me go with the uh, how about uh, 130 okay let me go with 130 let me say okay now let me show you a preview but uh, it still doesn't look like uh, a navigation bar but hold on guys have patience it will look like a navigation bar very soon okay so I'm going to go back to the rule which is a uh, menu bar ul li a a for the anchor tag the link tag okay double click there now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the block category and this time I'm gonna set the display to a block okay and then I'm gonna say apply the moment I do that guys uh, see what has happened here okay I'm gonna say okay and let me show you a preview now this is looking a little better okay it's move we are moving closer to uh, the way a menu bar should look okay not a problem let me go back now this time what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna s give it a height let me s uh, let me go with 36 and say apply and say okay now let me show you a preview now okay uh, all right much better uh, than uh, it was earlier but guys it has an underline I don't like the way uh, item one is tucked in the left top corner so I'm gonna take care of the underline as well as the placement of the font so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back here and uh, I'm gonna say text decoration none this will take care of the underline okay guys uh, I forgot to tell you when I said the when I set the display to block it actually treats the whole block of uh, 130 by 36 which was declared here as a block the whole block then becomes a link okay and uh, when I say the text decoration set the text decoration as done every link item has an underline by default guys so by, but by setting the text decoration to none that will take care of it as well okay next what I'm gonna do is guys if I set the line height to a 36 uh, as well now 36 is the same as the height of the block that we have just declared and if I make the line height the same as 36 you see that the text gets centered top bottom let me show you in uh, a preview in Chrome have a look you see that it's top bottom is in the center now so uh, vertically centered now okay 
all right let me go back to dream viewer now guys i have this challenge of placing item number one two three and four in the center horizontally as well so let's tackle that as well going back to the same rule now it's actually the key rule guys and then i'll go to the the block category and then set the text align to mm, a center say okay now it's uh just the way i want it okay all right lovely so item number one two three and four are now placed centrally horizontally as well as vertically so also we have a 50 pixels of margin all around uh, that has displaced the menu bar from the left and the le uh, the top okay we have uh, a background color which matches the font color all very good all very nice uh, so what is the next thing that we need to do guys uh, the next thing that we need to do is to declare uh, a background color for the hover state when you mouse over these items okay uh, that's pretty easy what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my the mouse cursor the blinking cursor anywhere in item number one click on the plus button okay and uh, I'm gonna type something out here so after the anchor tag with the a co a I'm gonna type colon and then hover okay so now this rule will apply to the anchor tags in the hover state it's a compound rule so I'm gonna say okay and uh, straight away go to the background section for the background color let me choose uh, let's say a hash f99 and uh, then I'm gonna say okay and let me show it to you now taking a preview in Chrome hmm lovely it's it's looking uh, like a cool uh, navigation bar now very nice wonderful okay now guys uh, all I did was I, I created four rules as you can see here and I have a menu bar ready awesome amazing uh, guys uh, just in case you wish to use instead of uh, a background color a background image I'm gonna show it to you uh, show that to you as well so uh, I'm gonna go back to the rule which is menu bar ul lia double click there and uh, le let me then go to um, the background uh, category and let me default the color okay and then instead of using the color I'll be using the background image I'm gonna use BG repeat X underscore repeat X now this image was uh, is actually a gradient guys which is darker at the top and uh, lighter at the bottom okay since it's it's like a hair strand you cannot actually see it but it's uh, indeed a gradient okay and uh, once I'll repeat this uh, background along the x-axis you should be able to see that so I'm gonna say background repeat along only the x-axis from left to right that is and uh, I'm gonna say uh, okay uh, let me show you a preview all right so as you can see um, I'm sure you can see the gradient now it's darker here at the the top edge and towards the bottom it becomes a little lighter all right but guys as you can notice that uh, this red colored or uh, a hash 900 isn't the most appropriate color when you're using a, a darker background so what I'm gonna do is come down here for uh, where it says properties for menu bar ULLIA and change the color of the font to a white let me show you a preview in Google Chrome much better okay and for the hover state guys I'm gonna ch choose yet another <coughs> yet another background so I'll double click on menu bar ul LIA hover and uh, straight away go to the background category default the color not gonna work with colors anymore click on the browse button and choose this background image that was again created in, in Adobe Fireworks CS5 okay and uh, I'm gonna say okay and uh, I don't need to repeat it because uh, the width of uh, the menu bar the items in the menu bar as well as the background image is just the same 130 I'm gonna say okay and let me show you a preview okay just coming up all right wonderful but guys uh, this slight problem out here which is when you hover over you can hardly see the font so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the color of the font and in the hover state I want the font color to be a hash 900 okay so I'm going back to the rule which is menu bar ul lia hover 
and change the color of the font to a hash 900 saying okay and I should be done now guys let me show you a preview in Chrome wonderful isn't it looking nice guys okay so uh, I hardly created uh, <coughs> four different rules guys menubar menubar ul li menubar ul li a and menubar ul li a hover and uh, the menubar is ready so guys um, uh, this was a quick short uh, nice uh, tutorial i hope for you uh, you found it useful and uh, implement it uh, please implement it on your projects if you have any questions please uh, shoot it uh, via email or you can uh, skype me on mohit.manuja that's my full name okay uh, time permitting talent permitting i'm sure to help you i'll see you uh, next time with yet another dream your tutorial bye bye peace